Hello, hello. What's up, what's up? So we have news that Chainlink is integrating with Polkadot. Hey, Dark. Chainlink is actually integrating with Polkadot. Ethereum all-time high. It, Ethereum has hit an all-time high, but fees are up 77%. And Cardano's finally fully decentralized. That means every one of their blocks is being produced by someone outside of IOHK. So that is a pretty big milestone for Cardano itself. It's pretty good. So that's pretty good news. Pretty good news for ADA. Otherwise, like in other news, like most altcoins are actually up today. Binance has been a big gainer over the last two days. Polkadot's gained 17% today. XRP's gained 10.59, over 65 cents. ADA's gained a little bit. And VET itself has gained about 6.36%. So yeah, we have a we have a decent get. We actually have decent gains on across the uh, altcoin board today. Everything is up, and um, people should be making some money today. But you know, like yeah. Ethereum pushing forward despite gas fees. They are, but at the same time, like the gas fees are going to bog its growth in terms of like adoption. I mean, like people, people are completely wrong when they say like big companies don't care about gas fees. Big, big companies definitely care about gas fees. That's the whole reason VeChain actually reduced their gas fees because you're not really going to get enterprise, you're not going to get enterprise grade adoption with such high fees. Like the thing is with Ethereum, with stuff like Corium on J, with JP Morgan, that's not really Ethereum. That's a private version of Ethereum that doesn't use ETH at all. So the problem with that is like, sure, you could say that, but it doesn't really mean anything because enterprises really aren't going to adopt Ethereum in the future. Or you, they might say that we're adopting it, but they're not going to use it with such high gas fees. Or they're going to go on to, they might go on to layer two, but that doesn't solve everything because you need gas to get from layer one to layer two. Um, among other things. So there's big problems with like a lot of what they're doing. I think there's some, there's probably some good news with that. There's probably some news with XRP that like there's, they're hopeful with a new administration coming in. And also just because everything else is up probably, that's the main reason. Like DOT's actually up like 17%. Ethereum's up like 5%. Pretty most things are up. Like Filecoin's down, but Filecoin's been going up like crazy lately. Um, and maybe most things are actually like, mo most things are actually up to, um, are up today. So that's the main reason it's pumping. But I mean, like there's also some like decent developments in the lawsuit for uh, XRP, not like huge things, but the community is pumping them up. I do not know um, why the live notifications don't work. Realistically though, like YouTube's notifications have sucked for a long time. And they don't really work all that well. Yeah, April is going to be a, a pretty good month, hopefully. It's also like, I mean, like, it's also my birthday month. I actually turned 37 yesterday. Now this is over 12.15. So I actually turned 37 yesterday. Didn't release live, I didn't live stream on my birthday because I was doing other stuff. But now that it's not my birthday anymore, I can like, uh, I'm live streaming again. Yeah, so the thing about like VeChain and VTOR is, I, I right now it doesn't seem to be like it doesn't seem like um, the decision was catastrophic for VeChain or VTOR. I don't think it was. Ca I don't think the decision was catastrophic for VeChain or VTOR. Thanks, thanks for the birthday wishes. It like the, the decision really wasn't catastrophic for VeChain or VTOR. So it seems like it was actually okay. I I don't know. Like I kind of see Cardano pumping in May. But you know, no one really knows when it's actually going to pump. I kind of see it may I kind of see it pumping in May though. Uh, you can tell I'm older than I'm you can tell I'm a little older than like early 30s or late 20s because I I have a lot of like there's a lot of graying on my hair, which like doesn't really happen in your late 20s. Hey Hassan. Thoughts on one inch and th like the Dex aggregator? The, the Dex aggregator, I mean, I, I actually like one inch. Are you buying? No, I'm not buying a Snoop Dogg NFT. 
I am not interested in Snoop Dogg NFTs. DSL went on an absolute tear today. Nice, nice. I don't think VeChain is going to burn coins in the future. I mean, they might readjust the gas fee thing in the future, but right now they basic right now they basically did it just to uh, make sure that Enterprise would actually adopt. I actually agree with their move. I think people were over speculating on VeChain and Vetho. Thoughts on ENJ? I like Engine. I mean, I think their platform for making like these NFTs is great for like ENJ's growth for the future. Look, I don't think they're going to burn VET coins. And, and realistically, it doesn't really look like their move has really hurt VET's price. I mean, we're still very, very close to the all-time high for VeChain of 9.9. .9. We're at, like, what, 9.6 now, 9.5? So, like, as soon as everything else went up, like, VeChain, like, regained and went back up. We're at, like, 9.68 or something right now. We're at, like, 9.68 right now. So we're still very, very close to the all-time high. I Like, realistically, that announcement didn't hurt VET at all. It, it, it impacted VETHO some. But it didn't really like devastate Vetho because I think speculator like look speculators have actually realized that like you know it doesn't actually it doesn't really decrease the uh, increase the supply of V chain because they didn't actually increase the V chain Vetho generation rate which is what a lot of people actually wanted but they didn't actually increase it because they actually increased it that would directly uh, increase the supply of Vetho but they didn't do that. Instead, they like they reduce the transaction cost, and that has like that has effects over the long term. But short term wise, it doesn't really have that much effect. So I mean, so like basically, like long term accumulation, it'll be a lot harder to reach like the amount of VTHO burn that's actually necessary. It'll be much much harder to um, reach the VTHO burn that's actually necessary, uh, and that's probably why VChain stats is going to be like down. See. Like that's why, like uh, that, that's why the bur. Oh wait, the, I guess that I get they haven't implemented it. I guess they haven't really implemented it yet. Um, but the thing is, once they implement it, the the burn will the the V chain stats burn will be way down because they just reduced it by a hundred. But the thing is, they didn't really directly impact either of the prices. I don't know if it's temporary or permanent or whatever. We'll have to see a we'll we'll have to see about that. But right now, it didn't directly impact the price all that much. Coinbase IPO. I I really think the Coinbase IPO gives like crypto more legitimacy and people are going to be like more people are going to get interested in crypto. He prefers AD Harry so he doesn't really see the upside. Well, ETH has to figure out how to scale and like how to get rid of these like transaction fees. The transaction fees are horrible for ETH. Like you're not going to get much enterprise adoption at all if you don't if you can't actually get, you're not going to get serious use if you can't if you can't solve the transaction fee problem. And and the thing is like layer two doesn't solve everything because you need you need like you actually need to use layer one to get onto layer two. ETH and Bitcoin are the safest in bear market right now, but alts are giving great returns. Yeah, well, I mean in a in a bull market in a cycle like the smaller coins are always going to outperform the larger coins. But if you want to be safe, you you can stick with the larger coins. Yes. Coinbase coins are going to the moon. I don't really think so. I don't think just because of their IPO, their coins are actually going to go up that much. I mean, Coinbase has the same effect that they've had for like the last two years. Like before then, they had a lot more effect, but now they don't have a huge effect. Do you think trillions of market caps in the next five to ten years? I don't know if like all these coins are going to reach trillions of market caps. I mean, I do expect the exponential growth of crypto to slowly calm down as as it goes mainstream. Once you go mainstream. There's like an exponential growth as you go mainstream. Dude, low dollars question. I don't really care about those things. Stop talking about things that have nothing to do with what we're talking about. You do this every single day. How much are your savings, Fiat? Oh, I'm like less than 10 probably in crypto. Probably around 10 or 15 at the most. I, I'm definitely not all in on crypto. Like I have, I have a retirement account. I have like, I have like, a, and I have other money as well that that's invested. The transaction fees for all ERC twenty coins will be extremely high at the end of the bull market. Yeah, yeah. XRP isn't even going to hit like three hundred, much less. It might not even hit thirty. 
What's your opinion? I actually think a Bitcoin Roth IRA is a pretty good idea right now. I mean, as long like as long as you can situate it where like I cuz I don't really know if Bitcoin's going to last 30 years because of it, because of its old technology, but like in the next 5 I think is a good idea. Will you buy Coinbase stock? No, I'm not going to I don't have any plans to buy Coinbase stock. ETC will get popular if they don't fix No, ETC is not going to get popular because ETC has no purpose. Like no one, like li literally no one's going to use ETC. A prediction for the total market cap for the peak of the bull run? I think you can reach like five, six trillion maybe. TX fees, I mean like not for each particular coin, but if you actually look at the ROI, ETH really hasn't kept up with the smaller coins like Cardano or Polkadot. The, the thing is like when you actually get into, when you actually get into adoption, when you actually get into adoption, it does actually matter. And that does actually stunt its growth in the future. The other coins will catch up to it. The other coins will actually catch up to Ethereum. People buying ETC are those new to crypto. I don't really, look, it's just because it has Ethereum or Bitcoin in the name doesn't mean it's actually important. ETC doesn't lower TXN fees because that would sacrifice their intended decentralization. Yeah, but the problem is like you can't no you can't like the chain's unusable. That's the problem. Yeah, and many like a lot of them are actually going to catch up, and some of them will like if it doesn't if Ethereum doesn't solve the fee problem, they're going to overtake Ethereum. BTT is more popular than Tron on Coin Market Cap. Eh, that's cool. What's Crypto Daily News? Yeah, that's my other channel. That's just like that's basically just a rehash of the news each day. The thing is, you're seeing some projects already jump over because like, and specifically, they're jumping over because they say the Ethereum fees are way too high. They're, they're specifically saying the fees are way too high and that's why they're jumping over. The thing is, yeah, you'll get appreciation with Ethereum, but if, even if Ethereum goes to 5,000, that's only really a 2.5x. The others are going to have like 10, 20x. And eventually one of them is going to overtake Ethereum and market cap if Ethereum doesn't solve the fee problem. Because they're going to, like, those, those chains are actually going to get, like, corporate adopt, enterprise adoption. Whereas, like, Ethereum isn't because it can't really solve its problem. I can't invest in, like, every coin I make a video about. Uh, I do not use Glassnode. Um... I, right now, there actually isn't any um, advantage of, uh, of using ERC-20 over USDT TRC-20. TRC if I had a choice, I would use TRC-20 every single time for USDT transaction. But I don't think every exchange supports TRC-20 at this point for USDT. Because there's, there's not really that much of a risk of Tron going down within like the next two days. So I don't have any problem using TRC-20. And it's like free if I, and the transaction is essentially free if I use TRC-20. And since Tether is not an invest, investable asset, I don't really care. So yeah, I, there's there's really no reason not to use TRC20 for for our USDT transactions. Yes, look, as the price look, Bitcoin has the same problem as Ethereum and Bitcoin's problem is even worse. It's just that Bitcoin doesn't have smart contracts and you can't build on Bitcoin. That's why it's not quite as choked up as much. But BTC and ETH have the same exact problem. That's why I don't know if BTC will like last for 30 years or whatever. Because something else more useful probably is going to overtake it within that time. The decentralization, like the, okay, so ADA decentralization is big, like it's a milestone for ADA. It's not something that will actually impact the price of ADA though, is the thing. Like that's more of a technical thing, whereas like everything is completely decentralized and then IOHK is not pr producing any of the blocks anymore. Like IOHK is not producing any of the blocks anymore. So that's like more of a technical hurdle and like a technical like milestone that they've achieved in terms of like actual investing price it doesn't actually do much for the price it really doesn't do anything for the price at all because like investors they really don't care whether it's like a lot of investors don't really care whether it's decentralized or not they're investing for the eventual gogan pump which may not come until like may i do expect 88 to pump in uh in may with go with with alonzo coming up
ETC had 351% attacks in one month. It, look, ETC's garbage. Binance still has one withdrawals locked. Uh, do you think projects will fork Uni, Uni V3 despite license? It depends. Like, like someone might try it, and if they get sued, other people won't do it. But if they don't get sued, like other people will probably do it. But die after the next bear market. I think it's the main reason why it got listed on Coinbase. I think ADA will be consolidating until it's testnet. Well, well, no, no. Well, the testnet's actually like the fifteenth. I actually don't think the testnet's going to move the price. It's going to be the main. It's going to be. It's going to be speculation for the main net that rises the price. I don't really know. It's like a new like Elon Musk thing that they're shilling like these Elon Musk crap coins. I mean, Elon Musk doesn't have anything to do with these crap coins themselves, but they're just that's how they're promoting it. Spark tokens can add Bitcoin smart contracts. Yeah, but why the hell would anyone use Bitcoin smart contracts? Bitcoin can't scale either. Why, what do you think about OMI being negative since Uniswap? Is it the whales? I mean, like greater volume also like gets more people in. So like some people might be selling for profits. It could be that. ton of articles on coins on ADA's testnet that I'll cause a pump for sure. There might be, but I, I think like it's still going to be speculation for the main net that really go, uh, makes it go up. I don't think XRP is actually going to spiral down, but I don't think there's going to be a gigantic pump sometime either. Like it can, XRP can probably get to a couple of dollars this time around, but that's about it. It's not going to like hundreds or thousands of dollars. Do you support these crypto YouTubers contacting each other to shill Ethereum? It, look, I don't really care if they shill Ethereum or not, honestly, because like their their shilling of Ethereum isn't going to affect the price. Ethereum's too big, and Ethereum's way too big in terms of price for them to actually affect it. So what's happening with the Ethereum fees? They've gone up seventy seven percent because Ethereum's hit an all time high. This was pretty much expected. You think there will be a bear market? I, yes, crypt, there definitely will be a bear market. I, I mean, like, there's going to be like a downturn in the market sometime sooner or later. Thanks, Mike Malone. Thanks for the donation. That's undoubted. That's undoubted. Like, that's undoubtedly going to happen. When that is, I'm not really sure. It's it, it's it is more of a movement right now, but it'll fall in with the re regular stock cycles. I mean, even this even the stock market has like downtimes. The thing is, like, if you're an investor by now and you're, like, have half a brain, if you have, like, more than half a brain cell, you'd realize that XRP is just like any other project. And you, need to and you would need to treat it like any other project. It's not some, like, people need to stop treating it like it's some kind of hidden gem. It's the same for all these crypto projects. There isn't anything specifically special about that one project. It's not a bad, like, at this point, like, it's not a horrible investment. I just think there's other coins that are going to do a lot better. Chilling on YouTube is bad nowadays. Did some gator fishing today? Any good catches? Uh, nah. I mean, like, I didn't catch anything today. Today was really windy. I actually hate fishing when it's windy, like super windy. Stock market didn't have bear market. Yeah, I know. That's because they've been printing an infinite amounts of money. Maybe if they print infinite amounts of Tether, like crypto will do the same thing. Who knows? Do you think there's better virtual real estate platform than Decentraland? As of right now, probably not. I mean, the, the prices for that virtual land has gone extremely high. Yeah, it crashed early in 2020 at the start of the COVID. That was really fast crash though. And then they just printed more money to get us out. Uh, JP Morgan BTC to, uh, I haven't really read about that, but there's several like Wall Street 
places that have predicted Bitcoin to go extremely high. Probably because they invested in Bitcoin. Do you get crypto companies offering? Um, I've gotten it once or twice. I've actually like, I, I've, I've done one paid video and that's it. That's the only, I mean, I think Unistake was the only paid video I, I did. And I made it abundantly clear that that was a paid video. That's the only, uh, pay for a bear market. I mean, it was a flash crash, but it, but re, it recovered way too quickly. It honestly recovered way too quickly to be counted as a real bear market. I plan on scooping some Coinbase stocks. They're going to be pretty expensive. It's they're not like the Coinbase stocks aren't going to come cheap. I think they're going to be at, I think they're going to be at least like four hundred dollars. I do think they're going to be at least four hundred bucks. Have you seen PTF? It doubles since you got it in your wallet. Oh, the, 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 the one that you gave me? Yeah, it's done pretty well. The one positive outlook for investing, you can double your investment once the SEC lawsuit settles. Essentially, yeah. I mean, I think people, people are getting pretty hyped up for like these developments recently, but I don't think any of these developments in the lawsuit are actually that major. There's so many stable coins now, they don't need Tether to print unlimited. Yeah, but Tether's still the, like Tether's still the one with the biggest supply. And all these remember, all the other stable coins, like serious stable coins like USDC, uh, are actually audited. So like they can't just print infinite amounts like Tether can. Like no one like, uh, there's been an independent audit of Tether from the Cayman Islands, but you know, still. Like there it like Tether isn't really regulated like all the other stable coins. FinCEN doesn't actually regulate these things. It's like the various state agencies that regulate these things. Like and most of the others are actually regulated by the New York, by the New York uh, Financial District, where like Tether's not really regulated by anyone. J.P. Morgan issued a note Thursday that Bitcoin could fetch a long-term price of one hundred thirty thousand. Its volatility continues to decline. I mean, sure. I mean, I've always, I've said for a while that now that I fully expect Bitcoin to be above one hundred thousand by the end of the year, and I'm I'm still sticking to that. I I don't I haven't really kept track of like the virtual real estate market cuz uh you know I I I just find it kind of funny but yeah I was thinking yeah I mean XRP rails the thing is like the rest of us have already like the rest of our coins have already outperformed XRP by like 5 or 10x at least so I mean, you're starting the race way, way behind. And the thing is, it's been like a year, man, since like everything else started growing. POW? I mean, look, Bitcoin, the only reason Bitcoin is at, Bitcoin is where it, where it is, is because it's, it was first. None of these other POW coins really, I mean, Ethereum's like POW, but it's trying to switch over to POS. Like, none of the other POW coins have actually done that well. You look at Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, both of them have performed pretty bad. I mean, look, the gains this year, the gains in the last year have been really good for just about every coin. Do you think there will be any innovations done to Bitcoin? I don't think there can be. I don't think I think the miners would block I think the miners would really block any real innovation. I mean Tether could be like the Fed of crypto. I mean essentially Tether's minted from Bitfinex. And the, I guess they could just keep printing more and more of it. Um yeah, I think they do. I'm not 100% sure though. No, I think Mana just launched the NFT platform on uh, Polygon. I think that was yesterday. It, 
it actually, I mean, like, if you just want to be a store of value, I guess you don't really need innovation. If you just want a store of value, I guess you don't really need innovation. But if you want, like, a, if you actually want, like, if you actually want your coin to be used for anything else, you actually do need innovation. At year end, where do you think? I think there'll be, a, I think there'll be dozens of apps on ADA by the end of the year. If it actually comes out and like, if everything sorts out by July or something or August or whatever, like everything's gonna, there's gonna be a lot coming on then. When I meant innovation, I meant mining Bitcoin more environment friendly. That's more of like a power thing, not really a Bitcoin thing, though. Look, look, look Bitcoin's going to be number one for several years. Yeah, so like right now, I would say Bitcoin's a pretty safe investment. But like if you're talking like 10 years from now, then I just don't I don't know. Uh, ADA is beast waiting to be awakened. I mean, it's already kind of awakened. ADA is already like 30x from last year. I mean, the coins that have actually done pretty well have, are the ones that have actually... The altcoins that have actually done well are the ones that have already hit their all-time highs. Like, ADA's hit their all-time high. VET's hit their all-time high. ICX still really hasn't, but it's getting there slowly. What would safe moon price and use case need to be for you to buy? I, you know, the thing is 100 USD is like throwing 100 USD on it is just perfectly fine because that, that's really not risking all that much. I'm really not interested in Safe Moon because it doesn't really have any use case. It's essentially like with Safe Moon, I, I'm essentially just playing slot machine with Safe Moon. Like there's 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 no use for it. Like what, what the hell's the point of the what, what's the point of the coin? I, I realize it could go up like 100x because, you know, someone pumps it, but I, I don't really see a point of me buying it. LTC hasn't hit its all-time high, but it's but it's actually like it's more than half its all-time high. LTC is at more than half its all-time high, so it hasn't hit its all-time high, but it's at more than half. ADA went from two cents to a dollar fifty less than two months. No, it actually went from like four cents. Two cents was only during the flash crash. Are faucets still a thing? I mean, you can still use them. You're not going to make much from them, though. Could possibly 5x or so from here. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, if it goes to $5, like, ADA will have fully 100 x from the low of $0.04. Cents. I mean, the low was actually $0.02, cents, but I don't really count that flash crash because there, there was, like, a five-hour window where you had to buy. Yes, I still own Bat. I'm hoping Bat gets another leg up. I don't know if it will or not. But I'm hoping Bat gets a lot of, another leg up. 127. It's done very, very well. I'm very happy for my Bat. It needs to go to like $10. Um, I'm hoping Kin will actually go up. Look, I don't really know about Kin. Kin's my gamble. Kin coin is honestly my gamble. But I, I only spent like 125 bucks on it. So I'm really not like... I'm just going to let it sit and see what it does. I'm really just going to let Kin coin sit and see what it does. I'm not complaining about the price because it's gone up so much since I bought it, but I'm just going to let it sit until it gets on a major U.S. exchange because I need to be able to sell it. Like how VET is rising in price slowly. Nice. Do you think uh, purchasing cryptos at these prices are wise? You know, the thing is, like, if you want to be safe, you could just buy one of the big cryptos because I still think they have, like, at least, like, 2x more to flip. But, and the thing is, gaining 100% in a year in investing, that's pretty good. I think people have just been spoiled by crypto in the last year for these massive gains. But realistically, like 100% or 200% a year in investing is great. So you can still do that with the larger coins. You don't have to speculate on the small market caps. You really don't have to speculate on the small market caps. I mean, if you want like, you know, 50x, sure. But if you're willing to settle for just 200% or 300% in a year, you don't have to speculate on small coins. You know, swap to $65 in a month, they have to announce low gas fees. Yeah, you know, that's the thing I've been confused about, Uniswap. They actually said, like, they actually said 3.0 didn't really, like, help with the fees. And I'm just like, well, then what's the point of 3.0? But I don't believe that because if you're on layer 2 in Optimism, 
There's no way you wouldn't actually reform the fees. Each transaction you earn free coins. Dude, that's a that's a really, really crappy system. That's not sustainable. Even 10% gains annually used to be got yeah, I mean sure. Yeah, 10% annually. Yes. I suppose the graph could pull a chain link. Yeah, the thing is I'm saying just two or three hundred, because people like people in here are like, I want 50x, I want a hundred x. So like if, if you're settle if you're willing to settle for a double or a triple by next year, then you know you, you don't have to you don't really have to speculate that much. Hey buddy Dubero. I hope you got a drop with uni. I've paid five thousand. Yeah, that's a lot, man. Ethereum gas up seventy seven percent. Yeah, I mean we're gonna talk about that. So every time Ethereum spikes, there's a there's a huge influx of volume. And when you actually have a when you actually have a huge influx of volume, uh, the fees always spike because there's that means there's more tra transactions being done. So and the thing is, as long as the price of Ethereum stays high, uh, the, the price of the transaction stays high. It's pretty much inevitable. It essentially is pretty much inevitable that, that this actually will uh, this this will happen, and uh, it really sucks because. Like when the prices are high, that's when people want to sell. That's why that's when people want to swap DeFi, and that's actually when things like basically crash and go down and everything like dies. Or like you have to pay like up the ass for fees. So like seventy seven percent increase fees. Um, that's that's what's actually plaguing Ethereum, and it's going to continue to plague Ethereum. There's I don't think there's really much chance of Ethereum fees coming down in the next couple of months. I mean, Uni, the the Uniswap three point on layer two might help it, but. The thing is, the fees are going to stay high, and that's why a lot of projects are going to be mi looking to migrate to other systems. Like, if if not fully migrate, they're going to make their own versions on the other systems. And as soon as like those other platforms actually have an ecosystem, they're going to be massive threats to Ethereum because like they're basically going to have like they're going to basically have a competing ecosystem on a platform that's far superior to Ethereum. So like Ethereum's gotten lucky that they've been the only ones for so long. Uh, and that it takes a lot of time to build out these blockchains. But as, as soon as like those other blockchains actually come online, like they are going to be threats because projects will actually move over. I mean, project leaders aren't stupid. They're, they are going to move over. Cardano pump coming, guys. Just have, yeah, I would say probably in May, though. I don't know about April. I mean, I'm hanging on to my Cardano. I'm not selling it, but I would say like May. But, I mean, Orchid? I don't understand like the whole purpose of Orchid. It's it's a decentralized VPN, so I I don't really see a huge purpose in it. People are getting greedy, investing in all copycat safe moon. Yeah, look, Safe Moon is basically speculating and gambling. That's what it is. What's EO I don't know what EOMI is. I know what OMI is. I think OMI is pretty cool. I mean in, but temporary price drops on coins don't really worry me. I'm really, look, I'm not really a day trader or, or like a short-term swing trader, so I don't really care about temporary movements all that much. The lowest fees in my crypto ATM is Bitcoin Cash. It's lower than Litecoin. ETH is ridiculous fees. Well, that's because like your ATM probably has a limited number of cryptos. You gain liquid tokens. Um, I'm not sure. Look, Card look, look, Cardano hasn't really given us any details about how you can earn liquid tokens. I'll tell you guys when I find out. Well, Polkadot is going bull right now, plus 17%. It might. It depends. Like, if they have, like, if they have news about, more news about the parachain auction, it could definitely shoot up. But I don't really know what news is actually coming right now. What is the total supply? Will the fees matter for someone who makes so many? They are uber rich. Yeah, but most people aren't uber rich. What is the total supply safe? I think it's, like, 600 trillion or something like that. I forgot. There was like there was one that was like a quadrillion supply and the other one was like 600 trillion supply. I forgot which one Safe Moon was. It's it's a really large amount. What do you think of cake? Uh, you mean pancake swap? I think that has a lot of potential to grow. There is Safe Mars as well. I threw 200 dollars at it in case you feel like you missed out on Safe Moon pumps. My favorite long-term hold still VET. Pretty sure Hex. <laughs> Occam's Razor ADA's new DeFi launch pad. Yes, uh, you can actually get Occam Razors. You can. Act, I think you're, you're going to be able to buy Occam on uh, April 10th. I'm not ex exactly sure where though. 
I don't think it's too late to take a position in Chainlink, no. Been thinking about moving my GRT to Chainlink, but not sure. I mean, that's your decision. I can't really tell which coin's going to be better. I, I still think the bull run will probably end, like, end of this year or, like, early next year. Yeah, sure. They'll, they'll definitely make some people rich. But the thing is, like, you're, you're still paying a lot in fees. Most people don't transact thirty forty thousand dollars $40,000 at a time. Think Harmony gonna go against the big chains? Huh? What on earth can we do with all these Tron token airdrops? There's so many. I mean, you could try to, you could just sell them if you can find a way to sell them. That's probably what I would do. I don't even know I get them. Honestly, I probably get them, and they're stuck on the Tron chain somewhere. But I don't, even, I don't even know about them. Is it Matic with Cook Swap supposed to have super low fees? Yes, yes. Side chains are technically the answer to ETH, but A, side chains have to be able to talk to each other, which is still a bit ways out. And to get onto the side chain, you still have to use the main chain. So if you want to settle in cash, you still have to do it on the main chain. Yeah, I know. Look, I know there's different models that say two or 300,000. I don't think we're going to get to 288,000 by December. I wouldn't mind if we did, but I, would, I don't think we're going to get there. I, I, I do think like it is, it's possible to get to around 300,000 by December, but I'm more... I'm leaning more towards like 150, somewhere around there. What coin do you think has the highest EV at the end of the bull run? You mean like ROI? I, I have no idea, but um, I mean like if you're talking about the big coins, like ADA and DOT have a pretty good chance. Is investing now still better than waiting for a possible? Yes, I think so. I mean, I think some people are targeting 10 trillion. I'm more targeting five or six. I still think Bitcoin's dominance will drop to about 30% uh, at, the, at the height of the altcoin run. There's a, there, there's a big resistance at 10 cents for VETS. It's going to take a while to push past 10 cents. It's going to take a long time. to. It's going to take uh, VET a while to push past 10 cents. That's for sure. Thirty percent. That would be insane if that happens. I think it's going to be 30, 30 to thirty-five percent because, like, the altcoins are going to start sucking money out of Bitcoin soon. I mean, they're not going to suck money out of Bitcoin, but they're going to grow faster than Bitcoin. Yeah, you mean chill ass? I think, like, look, if they get a couple more sports teams to sign, of course they can go up again. Token metrics is calling ten trillion market cap. It's possible. I mean, like, I'm looking more for five, six trillion, but it's possible that ten trillion happens. Isn't it dangerous to invest in older coins like NEO from the last bull run? So NEO might mega pump, but the thing is, I don't like the project. So I'm not going to invest in it. Elidila must buy Bowie songs using Bitcoin. I have no idea. BSLA with only 7 billion max supply and token burn. Yep. Crazy is we haven't even hit a real altcoin season. I think a lot of the altcoins actually have uh, definitely are in the middle of their altcoin seasons. Not all of them are up, but not all of them need to be up because most of those altcoins are just junk anyways. Do you see VET going past two to three dollars in the five plus year mark? I don't know if it can maintain two to three. What do you think of the idea that this bull run will end in stabilization versus a huge correction? I think there will be a correction. I mean, we've gone up so much, and I think we're going to go up a lot more. So I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be a pretty big correction. I still think Hex is a scam. I don't think you're going to change my mind on that. Because, like, I just look at this, I just look at the structure, the distribution of coins, who owns the origin wallet and all that, and I can't really see it any, as anything else except for a scam. Will CH, uh, hey Volps, will CHZ go up to $2? I, I mean, I don't have a specific price for CHZ in mind. I, um, I don't know about systems. I like Terra Luna, though. Uh, they, they actually bought the NFT license for Godzilla vs. King Kong. So they're, in the, they're definitely in the game. It depends how many more licenses they can acquire. I still think I like Omi more. I still think I like Omi more than Terra Luna, but Terra Luna is pretty good as well. Am I going to get enough sleep? 
<laughs> is XLM a good buy now? I'm not a huge fan of XLM. I just read Elon Musk purchased David Bowie's songs for... Yeah, I don't really care about that. I mean, I, Elon Musk is active in the crypto community. Ideally, it seems like invest half now and have half for future corrections to stay safe. Maybe. I got in early on Harmony and DSL. I mean, if you invested like last year or earlier, this is like around this time is around the time you should be looking to take profits. Do you think uh, we will see people camp out to buy Bitcoin by using Bitcoin? No, I don't think so. Time frame for all season end market correction. I still think end of this year, beginning of next year, but I'm not sure. No one really knows. No, I don't think what Elon, I don't really think Elon Musk buying David Bowie songs is really that big of news, no. Uh, have you, I've been hearing about Veracity. Veracity is essentially chill as for esports. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. I mean, B-Pro is another one that's exactly like Veracity. I'm actually not that high on remittance coins because I have a feeling that like the banks aren't really going to use them all that much. PLA. Yeah, well, yeah, PLA like switched from a gaming platform um, first and then they went to like a DeFi platform and now they're an NFT platform. Do you think VET have a stable coin on its ecosystems? I'm sure they will. Um, I don't know when. I'm sure they will. I think it's still way too early to take profits. I still don't care about dips. Yeah. Sure, but the thing is, like, if you've been investing since last year, you're probably up, like, 20, 30x on most coins. Unless you're just, like, holding, like, XLM, XRP, or, like, you know, BSV or something, then you're probably not up that much. But the thing is, like, if, you, if you've been holding, if you've been investing in other coins, you're probably up 20 or 30x. So I think it's actually smart to take your initial investment out. At this point. I'm still waiting for Bitcoin to break 60K. It's like $300 off. There's a big resistance there at 60K. A pretty big resistance there at 60K. Uh, the Cardano Africa deal? No, look, I don't, I think people are getting too hyped up about the Africa deal. The Africa deal is, is cool, but that's on a private version of Cardano, so it really shouldn't affect the price that much. There can be FOMO from it, sure, but. On a utility basis, it really shouldn't uh, pump it up that much. WanChain, I actually like because they just got a partnership with like one of China's like biggest utility industries. I think ADA Dot and BNB get all the press, and they definitely have a lead on things like EGLD. I do not own a small bag of Ecomi. I can't buy every single coin I like. I already have like six or seven assets, and that's where all the all my investments are. Vetho and BET price not affected by Vetho transaction cost reduction. It really hasn't inf affected it that much. V VET is still very close to its all-time high. VET is still very, very close to its all-time high. Did you take out your initial investment? I actually got fish, so I haven't taken anything out yet. Yeah, it's the state grid for, uh, for WANChain. I mean, like... Like, Kin has made up for a large part of what I lost because the gains in Kin. But realistically, like, I haven't really taken anything out because I got fished uh, I got fished a couple uh, about a month ago. People don't want to take product because they want life changing wealth. You can still, you can take like 10% of your money, you can take 10% out and still have life changing wealth. I would have traded ETH for other coins a while ago. When is the first FLR drop? I have no idea. Probably in June. What are your six bags? I have like, uh, I, I have VET, ADA, ICX, uh, Band, um, BAT, and Ken. Those are my main six bags. There is a possi there's a pretty decent possibility we could be in a super cycle. Because like all these institutions coming in, we definitely could be in a super cycle, yes. Yeah, I think we can be in a super cycle, and that's pretty. That's actually pretty exciting as well. Mm 
the moment ETH is all-time high, can it reach 3,500? It actually already reached an all-time high today. ETH actually already reached an all-time high today. My pegs are deep. A super cycle could last maybe like... The bowl could last like close to two years, I think, if we're in a super cycle. It, I mean, it's it's actually moved pretty fast. Thanks for the donations, guys. I mean, it, it's actually moving pretty fast. Who knows what the effects of mainstream adoption will be? Yeah, I mean, it won't be endless. It'll end at some time sooner or later. I, I mean, the the bull cycle, the bull run will end sooner or later. I mean, it's not going to be endless, but it could last much longer. Got a lot of kin coins on Mercatox and want to sell some, but Mercatox wouldn't allow you to maintenance. I don't think so. I, I doubt they would do it just, just for something small like Ken. And you can always, like, you can, I, you can sell a Ken elsewhere, too. Like, the, the FTA, like, there's this, there's Serum and, like, that other Polkadot decks that you can actually sell a Ken on. And also, like, ev everything on Ken is essentially under, like, Ken, essentially, like, a lot of wallets are actually under maintenance because of the whole Solana swap. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. Like the Solana swap really hasn't completed for a lot of exchanges. Uh, Theta is moving now. Should have crashed years ago, specifically the stocks. Yeah, look, the thing is, like, we should have crashed like like two or three years ago. But since they printed so much money, they basically been floating it up, and I think they're gonna float it up for some time. As long as they keep printing money, the, the market's really not gonna crash. Market's actually not going to crash as long as they keep printing more money. And whichever administration, like, both political parties are willing to do that. Both parties are willing to do that. Uh... Which coins that haven't run up? I mean, XTC's already started. Like, XTC, I'm pretty bullish on now. Um, the other ones, I, I don't really know. I mean, I would just, I'm just going to keep the coins I have. I don't really plan to buy uh, the new, I don't plan to buy anything new, really. Like, maybe Adam, I would consider. I mean, you can't say, like, a lot of these haven't, I would, I might consider Adam. Um, HOT I already have some of. CHZ I might consider as well, like Chillaz, Engine. I mean, most of these have, ha have actually gone up. I don't know much about Nemec. What do you see ETH can suddenly drop? Like, I don't think it'll suddenly drop 50%. There's been a lot of problems with ETH, and none of them would cause, to drop, cause ETH to drop 50%. I'm not really sure why Polkadot's pumping so much today. My my guess is Dot pumped a lot because of like the news with ICX and that and uh, we got to talk about this Chainlink. Um, Chainlink has actually um, is actually uh, have uh, launching its substrate so it can integrate with Polkadot. So Polkadot is about to get Chainlink oracles and that's pretty cool. Polkadot's about to get Chainlink oracles. So, like, obviously Chainlink wants to be a cross-platform, so it doesn't want to be stuck to ETH. So they're actually building their own sub, launching their own substrate, and they're actually going to uh, be, they're going to be play the oracle for Polkadot as well. I don't think they're going to be the primary oracles for Polkadot, but, like, Polkadot will still use them because Chainlink is pretty widely known. So that's probably one reason Polkadot's up to date. That and the ICX joining Polkadot. So Chainlink is going to, uh, bring their oracles to Polkadot, which is pretty cool. What about Car well, Cardano? Will continue to go up, but mostly ROI for Cardano has probably already been had. I mean, Cardano is 30x, so I could expect maybe another 3, 4x from them. I don't expect another 30x from them. I predict Coinbase will embarrass themselves once the rest of the world sees how shitty their customer service is. 
Yeah, but you know the thing is, like the other crypto exchanges, it's not like the other crypto exchanges, it's not like their customer service is any better. But crypto exchanges as a whole have really crappy customer service. As a whole, like crypto exchanges have really shitty customer service. And there's really, I mean, that really hasn't changed. That's like one thing about the crypto market that hasn't changed. Do you know the biggest purchase someone using Bitcoin? I don't really know. I mean, I, I honestly don't really care too much about these records. I mean, I care more if like Visa, like if Visa adopts Bitcoin to let, to let all their merchants use it rather than like, you know, one person making a huge Bitcoin purchase. Because I don't really think that really matters all that much. Didn't fix. I don't think Coinbase ever got hacked. I mean, I, I don't I don't remember Coinbase ever getting hacked. How does Chainlink generate revenue coin value? Um, I think to ping the prices, it requires some amount of link coin. I think that's how it works. How did Ward your support and they haven't heard from them a week? I mean, that's just how it goes. Look, I haven't had like, like, honestly, Binance's support has been decent for me. Like when I ask them a question, they usually get back to me. They haven't gotten back to me on the latest one. But like when I ask them a question, they usually, they, they do usually like get back to me. I think I, uh, you think IOTX is potential. Maybe they get a lot of partnerships. I have I don't really know that much about IOTX. Will VET reach a dollar in April and Vito can it rebound to two cents? They bas they they're basically trying to take the air out of speculation on Vito. So I think VET is just a better investment than Vito at this point. I mean like they're basically trying to make Vito not rare. I'm not really sure how well it's working or whatever, but they're basically trying to make Vito not very like not rare. you yes i'm on twitter not really don't really use instagram for this no there's no truth to the the simpsons stuff draken was extremely fast i don't remember the simpsons predicting that anyways draken was extremely fast in approving my business account i see i think a crypto roth ira is actually a pretty decent idea i i mean vito like each, like you know, Vito can actually go as high as it wants right now because the, the each transaction costs so little Vito that like even if Vito went to like thirty forty cents, it it really wouldn't cost all that much per transaction. So like what they actually what they actually did is like they decreased the demand for Vito, but at the same time like they they kind of like don't really have much of a cap for Vito because like transactions can cost a hundred times what they do now and it'd be the same cost as what they are now so it's kind of a dual thing on this one like if they really want to speculate they can speculate vetho really really high but but then again like you don't really need that much vetho so why would you cody uh bartlett spread it around to get some link yeah what do you think about neo and neo gas i i think neo is completely speculative it i mean neo could pump a lot but it's not I mean, I'm I'm not interested in Neo myself. Like, it could pump a lot because it pumped so much last time, probably because of inside players. But I'm really not that interested. It depends on which exchange. Like, I think leaving your coins on Coinbase is generally safe. Same thing with Binance.us or like regulated exchanges. If you leave your coins on a small exchange, no, it's not safe. Travala's Travala accepts a lot of coins on their platform, actually. I don't really think EOS is undervalued because I don't really see much in their ecosystem. Thoughts on Cardia Chain? I don't have too many thoughts on that. 
I mean, I use whatever coins available for transactions. They're all extremely cheap besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. Like I've used ADA for transactions. I've used, hell, I've used Tron for transactions. I've used Tron for transactions and it's just fine. Like I, I'm not a huge fan of Justin Sun, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to use the coin for what it's actually good for, for fast transact, for fast feeless transactions. All right, let me see if I can schedule my COVID-19 vaccine. Because I need to like actually schedule my vaccine. But anyways, yeah, I mean, I will, I'll use whatever is available. I will actually use uh, whatever is available. Wait, but I'm not in New Hampshire. Uh, no, no appointments available. Dang it. Well, that sucks. That sucks, but whatever. Uh, it'll be available next Monday, hopefully. Whatever. Um, Cody is a great entry point. I mean, yeah, because, like, Cody really hasn't gotten much press. But the thing is, like, I haven't really heard much news from Cody. A lot of newbie just buying out. Uh, should I sell my Neo for more VeChain? I don't know. Do you want to speculate or not? Because VeChain's less speculative than Neo, but Neo like can have a massive pump just like I like it did last time. I don't really see much. I don't really see much in the future for Neo, but I can see a massive pump going for it. They come available as soon as they're canceled. I think like the, I don't think the I don't think the appointments are actually like a schedulable for us until like uh, next week actually. Like Mondays when they actually open up. Yeah, look, if I was if I was trying to move USDT, I would definitely use TRC twenty if I actually could. Wherever it's supported, I would use TRC twenty. I would not use the ERC twenty version of USDT. XRP is pumping because everything else is pumping, and also like I think there were some good developments in the lawsuit. I checked the XRP news and there really wasn't anything that would actually make it pump. I unstaked and claimed some CyberFi today. I mean, look, I'm really not into, I'm not really much into like day-to-day -day movements. Really not all that much into day-to-day -day movements because like, I mean, th those can honestly be anything. Those realistically can be anything. I'm looking at long-term movements. Send you a... Safe Moon made me and so many people crazy money in two weeks. Where can you even sell Safe Moon though? Follow uh, Hollow Chain all day long. I, there isn't really any good news on XRP right now. There's been a couple of case developments, but they're not really anything big. Um, and plus, like everything else is, and plus, like everything else is up too. Like all the other altcoins are up as well. Like Dot's actually up more. Is hollow a good, I would say hollow if you're going to buy it's probably short term. I don't really know what they're going to do long term. I am unsure about the status of the project long term. Would it be smart to jump into bat right now? I have some bat, but that's because I earn it every month. I think there are better coins than bat, but it's not bad. Uh, why did you pump yesterday after I sold them? Look, most altcoins are actually pumping today. Uh, Tracaris, you really need to stop obsessing yourself with day-to-day -day movements. AV, like, like realistically, realistically, they didn't actually increase the supply of VTHO. So the announcement, like, it will indirectly affect VTHO price. And VTHO did dump a lot the last two days. Is ETH's name too big to fail? I don't think so. I don't think it's too big to fail. If other if if a lot of the projects will switch over to other platforms, yeah, I mean it'll be like it'll get. I mean, if projects switch to other platforms, 
um, realistically, like other platforms will pop uh, pass it. Hey Gabriel, Bat graph is pretty nice. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, Bat doesn't have that much utility right now. I mean, you're just you're basically hoping for future utility for Bat because it doesn't have that much utility at this point. Is Kusama a good investment? Yeah, I'm actually more I'm actually more bullish for Kusama than Polkadot. So I, I think Kusama is a good investment. Taking out 5x, what I put in, I'm letting the rest simmer. I mean, if you're already like 5x up, that's that's a good idea because you've already made a lot of money. Hey, Pell Moon. Yeah, Dot's like the coin that's actually pumped the most today. I actually think Dot's either on the Chainlink news or on the ICX news, or it's just pumping because of all the news that's accumulated so far. Started with 27.5 billion, it's close to 30k today. ICX like had a really big pump a couple of days ago. It's it actually got over three dollars when everything else was still. I mean, it'd be cool if it pumped again today, but realistically, when everything was sitting still, ICX pumped a lot. I still think ICX can reach like 10 or 20 bucks. So I'm holding on to the ICX. I still see like a lot of good, I still see a lot of good returns for ICX. So I'm, I'm definitely holding on to it. Really bullish on engine. I think engine's a pretty good coin. Their NFT platform's pretty good. Korean coins seem to work on a different timeline. Maybe. I mean, that's because Korea is crazy about their FOMOs. If you actually look at Fiat Leak right now, it's like there's a massive Korean FOMO for XRP. So that's probably part of the reason it's up. I mentioned Dot earlier this week as a good buy because it's showing lacked luster performance. Uh, AVE is actually getting onto Polygon. So that's really good news for AVE. Think it's news or because lack of supply and selling like news can always get you a pump but when an asset has been the same i think it's like a i think it's like a couple of people started and then every like other people see that people are buying it and they join in that's how the fomos happen i mean the news could be the initial trigger also yeah the staking for icx makes it really easy to hold I, I do have to remember there's like a 10 day lead time though. When do you think with ADA ready for a big move? What do you think with ADA ready for a big move? I mean, ADA did a big move like a month ago. I think this, I think ADA will actually move in uh, May. That's what I think. I, I do think it will, I think it can reach 10 to 20, especially if we have a spike in prices of, of altcoins.
Man, Dot's moving up like crazy. It's up like 20% now. That's going up. It's going up pretty fast. $46.71. Cardio chain? I mean, it's up today. $0.10. Cents, 213 market cap. I mean, TA-wise, you could be looking at a double top since March 20th. Blockchain platform that aims to be fully interoperable and non-invasive. Not really, no, I don't really know what that non-invasive means. Meaning that blockchains can connect to the network without needing to make technical modifications to their own protocols. That could be pretty cool. The staking, like, what's the staking percentage for Kai? If the staking percentage is like done pretty well, they could have a lot of growth. It only went live in December though, 2020. Although ETH isn't going to catch up to BTC. That's, that I'm pretty sure of. That I'm absolutely positive of, that ETH is not going to catch up to BTC. It, they're so far apart right now. And the thing is, like, ETH transaction costs are going to bog it down. Uh, Hex? Look, I still think Hex is a scam. You're not going to change my mind on that one because, I mean, just the way it's structured, who owns most of the coins? I think ADA might be sleeping until May. I don't know. It could blow up at any time, but I think it's going to pump in May, definitely. Don't know much about happy coins. I don't think news affects price very much. It's a factor, but I... Price action analytics... I, you know, like, TA's been wrong so often, though, that I just don't really pay all that much attention to TA. Like, there's so many different tiers, and they all have different interpretations. Then when they get something right, they, like, go crazy about it. But I, I, I think TA is just educated guessing, and there's a lot of wrong educated guesses. Like, I don't think technical analysis is any better than, like, just reading news and deciding. I mean, yeah, if you, if you read news and you, if you, list, you look at TA, you'll do better than just randomly throwing darts at a board. But, like, both of them are just, like, both of them are just educated guessing. And outside of, like, really basic measures of TA, I don't really look at it all that much, especially for altcoins, because altcoins just tend to follow Bitcoin. Yeah, I would, because you, you always want to sell your coins before the bear market. There's no point in holding through the bear market. There's absolutely no point in holding through the bear market. You're just losing money. Look, I'm sure there's probably some whales playing around with the safe moon, and there's a lot of money to be made, but I'm just not interested in a coin that basically has no use at all. How do you stake your ICX? I'm using Atomic Wallet, so I just use the stake option. But if you actually want to stake ICX, you can actually stake it in IconX or IconX wallet or my Icon wallet. And those are better for staking because you can actually choose the uh, PR. You can actually choose your rep. And some reps have like extra rewards. I've already answered the bull market ending thing like so many times this time. Like I think it's going to be ended this year, probably beginning of next year. See from dots reaccumulation structures, the rising bottom accumulation that was going to outperform. Safe moon up. Yeah, but I mean, would you put your gains in USDT? Yeah, I, I mean, I would rather put it in USDC, honestly. Like, I like USDC better than USDT, but I don't have too many qualms with USDT. No, I don't tell people how much money I have. I don't really know why people are so obsessed with that. I don't think it's smart to disclose how much money you have online. Uh, what's your thoughts on Zill? ZIL, I'm not... Uh... 
I mean, I think it's I think it's a decent investment. I mean, it's it's not one of the coins that I'm really looking at myself though. So what price do you see it go down to? I don't see it 20k. I might see like 40k or 50k. I think the institutional investment will actually will actually prevent Bitcoin from going down 80%. But some of the altcoins might go down 80% though. That that's definitely real. Yeah, dots going insane right now. I don't think we've seen full euphoria for alts, but we've definitely seen like a lot of the euphoria for all. We, for for like a lot of the top alts, we've seen some euphoria. A lot of the alts have broken their all-time highs. I I already told people what holdings I have like many many times. I mean, someone just asked me this stream. I told you I, I have I have BT uh, not BTC I have ADA ICX VET band uh, band um, Ken and Bat those are the six I mainly have I also have a bunch of like other coins that people have donated to me um, and I haven't really sold any of them yet. So those are the coins I actually have right now. I can just open up Atomic. Okay, I can probably just open up Atomic Wallet. So yeah, there's I have some hollow because I have some hollow chain because I bought some like two years ago and uh, I just like it. It got down so low that I never bothered to sell it. But then, like, I logged in a couple of days ago, and I realized I had some, so I ported some out. Uh, I have, like, 225 XRP because someone donated to me XRP. Um, I have Pundi X because that was also left over from, like, two years ago. Power Trade Fuel because someone uh, donated 114 of those to me. Vthor because I generate those. I have a little bit of Binance that I used for transactions back in the day. And that's about it. If you stake ZIL, it pays 15% atomic. Yes, yes. I mean, the GZIL could actually end up wor be worthing a lot, end up being worth a lot. With all the news on ADA, why is it still stagnating? It's kind of consolidating around 120. It's been around there for a long time. And also, it came up from four cents, man. Like, I don't think people should be complaining about ADA being stuck at 120. I think ICX is a really good crypto. It's, I think it's still very much undervalued in this market. Last year about dot was three dollars. Phone would reach six dollars. Yep. ALCX. Alchemix. I've never heard of this coin. I I mean this it's a very very small supply. Each coin can be worth a lot. I don't even know what it does, though. It's a governance token for what? I don't even know what the Alchemix protocol is. S3, would you ever create an NFT? Yeah, I'll create some NFTs. I'll actually create some NFTs. Um, probably on Cardano or Polkadot. I'm not going to do it on Ethereum because it costs like 100 bucks to mint an NFT on Ethereum. So much DOT and KSM will be locked up. That's true. I mean, a lot of Cardano is also locked up. Can you confirm the official wallet for ICX? Is it the one downloaded from the IC? I Yes, yes. It should be the Icon X wallet, I think. I think it should be the Icon X wallet. He's just kill the whole vibe, yeah. Icon five, yeah. What about dent? Uh, I don't have any dent myself. There's dent's been getting a lot of like FOMO. I think I'm not really sure that's is if that's just because someone's pumping it or that's because of news or uh, uh, developments. Doesn't really help to know what someone else is holding there because it depends on when you bought it. 
That's true. I mean, I've been holding a lot of my coins long term. Bat, I've been slowly accumulating just because I get more of it each month. Both Link. Uh, ICX is already integrated with Dot. Link is integrating itself with Dot because they just released their substrate. Yeah, but I mean, like uh, Dot ADA and uh, Dot ADA and uh, BNB have been passing Tether and then dropping below Tether, um, like momentarily, essentially. Thanks, Space Boy. Thanks for the donation. Do you think Omi will gradually go up during the bear market? Their app sales are up. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that they would gradually go up, but I think they would hold better than most other coins during the bear market if if they get app sales. Yes. It's hard to counteract a bear market for each individual coin. It can happen, but like it's it's kind of hard to. Would you take chips off the table for or after the Coinbase IPO? I'm not going to touch my crypto holdings like because of the Coinbase IPO. That doesn't make any difference for my holdings. And I, and I don't plan to invest in Coinbase. I do think Coinbase will give more legitimacy to the crypto market, but it doesn't really change my investing strategy any. I think there's going to be migration from both Ethereum to Polkadot and, in, in from, Ethereum, and from Ethereum to Cardano. I don't know what MBL is. If you had $1,000 in one coin, what would it be? It's a good question. I would probably try to put it in one of the smaller ones just to get the ROI. Any take on liquid finance? I mean, I don't really know where I can get liquid when I can get liquid coins. I am going to stake my Cardano to get some. I don't see I I don't know, 10 million is a, a huge leap. I personally am not a fan of PLA at this point because they pivoted so many times. Everything with Polkadot related ICOs and IDOs right now is complete bullshit and are taking advantage of the Polkadot brand. That could be true. I mean, there are a couple of like, look, there's like polkaprojects.com and you can actually see like the projects on Polkadot. Yeah, it's Akala, Moonbeam, Edgeware, and Plasm. Those are the four that's going to be in integrated into icons. Yeah, Theta, I think Theta and T Fuel are also going to do really well. Thanks, Chris. Uh, heard good things about router protocol. I have not heard about that at all. I've not heard anything about that. Yes, I've heard of Pokemon. I think they're going to get sued by Pokemon sooner or later. Because essentially, you just took Pokemon, completely copied it, and changed a letter in the name. I don't think that's going to fly. I mean... I, I, and if Pokemon sued them, at least in the United States, I don't see, I don't see how they're going to win that case. Because essentially you just copy Pokemon and change one freaking letter. Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> T-Fuel already outperformed most coins? Yes, it did. I think a lot of the fuel coins actually pumped at the same time. Because like, people were just getting scared of Ethereum fees, so they tried to accumulate a lot of fuel coins. In, uh, in hopes that like the other uh, in, in hopes the other blockchains would do the same thing. Well, I don't even know if VeChain 2.0 is going to release in April. I'm assuming it is, but I have no idea. Like they could push it until June. I have they haven't actually they have not actually announced a release date. All I know is that like their test net actually like released in the middle of March, but I don't actually know when their main net's going to release. I'm hoping it releases in April because I figure like a month or two is probably enough for you to test on the test net, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm really looking forward to Polka, uh, not, uh, VSwap 2.0. What's my take on Dragon Chain? I think like the FOMO of Dragon Chain like wore off like a long time ago, actually. I have not heard anything on Dragon Chain in a very long time. Yeah, I think Polkadot can reach half the value of Ether. Like, I mean, look, if Ether, if Ethereum doesn't get its shit together, I think like eventually Polkadot or Cardano is going to overtake it. I never collected real Pokemon, so I'm probably not going to collect real Pokemon NFTs. The first edition ones are going to be so expensive anyways. Because like, Pokemon's a pretty big brand, so people are going to be fighting over like first edition Pokemon NFTs. They're, they're going to be expensive.
I think like you're I think you're fooling yourself if you think they're gonna be cheap. Like the the first edition, like insert Charizard from Pokemon cards, they're it's worth like five hundred grand. Why is it worth five hundred grand? I don't know, but it's worth like five hundred grand. Although I do think the grading companies, like it costs way too much to get cards graded these days. That's my my opinion. Didn't expect it at all this year, but these updates could legit bring VeChain. I mean, I'm hoping so, Custom Evolve. Do you think Bear Market will be back in 2020? I think so. I, I can't be 100% sure, though. Oh, yeah, I was a Dragon Ball Z guy back in the day. I think my favorite character now is Vegeta. It used to be Gohan, but I think I like, I like Vegeta more now. I also think, like, Beerus is a pretty cool character. And on a super. But yeah, I, I was like, a, I'm a, I like, I think Vegeta is my favorite character because he actually, he, like, Vegeta actually has character. Goku's like, a, like, Goku's essentially, like, too simple. Vegeta's actually a pretty complex character. I mean, he's not complex, but he has more character than the other uh, characters. What edge, if any, does Cardano ecosystem? No, actually, you know, like, if you count fusion characters, I actually like Gotenks. Go Gotenks is hilarious. Beerus and Whis dynamic? Yeah, it is. No, you know what's even... Cactus Jack. You know what's even... You know what dynamic is even more hilarious champa and vados that thing, that's like just freaking hilarious like vados like just trolls him all the time dude goku's like the same as goku like goku and super is essentially just an older version of goku and dragon ball Nah, I don't. I don't buy and if I don't really buy Dragon Ball trading cards or anything. But I, I like. I just like the show. I don't really buy the cards or the merchandise. I know there's like people that play like Dragon Ball Dokkan or something, but I don't play that game. What edge does Cardano uh, Polka Dot ecosystem? It might actually come out sooner. That's one. Um, otherwise, like they both have their like good parts and bad parts. Like I, I think Cardano is gonna have more projects because like you actually need a parachain to have a Polka Dot project. So, like, there's one. I think Cardano can actually accept more projects. And I don't really know. Like, I, I haven't really looked at how decentralized Polkadot is. I'm assuming it's decentralized, but I haven't really looked at that. Dude, this weekend's going to have awesome weather, man. This weekend is legit going to have awesome weather. It's going to be like six upper 60s tomorrow and like 70s the next day. That water is going to get really, really warm on the river. So I'm definitely going to go get some fishing done. How about Algo? Um, Algo, I see like Car I see it kind of like Cardano at an earlier state. That's what I see Algo as. Super anime, nice. Oh, the Moro thing? Like, the Moro arc's gonna be pretty good. And, like, this new arc with, like, this guy that just used, like, the two-star Dragon Balls or whatever the hell, that's gonna be pretty cool, too. From nine, are worth a lot because no one got those cards graded back then, and most of those cards are either damaged. Yep. That's true. It's like old basketball cards. You know, but, but, but the thing is, like, it costs way too much to actually get cards graded. Like, it's like... Unless you have really, really valuable cards, it's really not worth it to get them graded. Because, like, for super valuable cards, they charge, like, hundreds of dollars just to grade them. I've seen the Naruto coin, but I don't know about coins like that. Where do you see VET reach in April? I'm hoping to get 20 cents, but I don't know if that'll happen or not. Do you think Solana can compare to some of these bigger blockchains? It, I think so. There's been some, there's been some accusations that it's not decentralized, but I'm not really sure about those. Everyone is getting the new Pokemon cards graded these days, which is what make the thing is. I have a lot of like, I actually have a lot of rookie cards from the '96 class, like Kobe and Iverson. 
But the thing is, like, they're not worth enough for me to actually get them graded. Dude, a cactus deck. I also, I also want to see like who is above this Zeno guy. Cause Zeno's like a kid. He's like a, he's super powerful. He can erase universes, but he's just a kid. There's got to be someone above Zeno. How high do you see Hollow and Ken going by August? Um, Ken, I don't know. If Ken can reach a penny, I would be like super, super happy. I don't think it will though. Hollow, I, I I just don't know. I mean, I have like I have a lot of hollows. I mean, not a lot. I have a decent bag of hollow, so I want it to ten x again. But you know, it, it's a toss up. Is the oracle problem a legitimate concern? There's enough oracles out there, I think, to solve it. No, no one bought Pokemon boost boxes to hold on to. That's true. Naruto coin. The heck is Naruto coin? Naruto BSC? That's too cheap, man. And there's no volume. It needs to learn more jutsu. What do you think of BZRX? I mean, I'm based on charts. Be like here. I. I don't know. I, I actually don't know anything about BZRX, so I can't really help you on that one. I told you Naruto coin is weak. It needs to learn more jutsu. Remember, dude, like, you know, like, people my age, like, grew up with these animes. Like, people my age like completely grew up with these enemies like dragon ball was early for us and then there's like naruto uh bleach uh naruto bleach um like one piece we all grew up with this stuff yeah i know dot's been exploding since we've been uh we've, we, since we've been streaming on this it's like 47 22 now DBZ is just classic. It has to be one of the most popular. It probably, it probably is. I actually think One Piece might be the most popular anime of all time, just because it's lasted so long. But you realize that Dragon Ball Z, like, there's not much of a storyline. It's basically like super powerful villain appears, and then you have to break into a new level of Super Saiyan, change your hair color or your hairstyle, and then defeat the other and defeat the villain. That's essentially what the story actually is. It's like if Super Saiyan's not enough, you have to go Super Saiyan two. Then if Super Saiyan 2 is not enough, you have to go Super Saiyan 3. Then if Super Saiyan 3 is not enough, you have to go like Super Saiyan God or something. Then you have like Ultra Instinct. Yeah, one, 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 piece is really, one Piece is really, really good. I agree with that. I have not watched Full Metal Alchemist. I've been getting a little bit into Baki, but not all that much. And now there's like three levels of Ultra Instinct, which I don't even know how that works. Travala is an amazing project after this pandemic travel. Yeah, it will. it will. I mean, like, I think like Travala and sharing will both be really good after this pandemic. Did you say you think you get, uh, look, I think either Polkadot or Cardano, like if Ethereum doesn't really get their shit together, Polkadot or Cardano will overtake Ethereum sooner or later. I haven't, I've never, I, I'm not into Demon Slayer. Like I think seven deadly sins is pretty good though. Quant, I actually still like Quant. I mean, like people, I think expected too much from Quant though. They expected that central bank partnership to be like the ECB, which wasn't ever going to happen. Central Bank of Lithuania, not nearly as impressive, but still a central bank. They like actually deliver on their promise. It just wasn't the giant central bank that people wanted to. I don't know. I think he was a boy, but like that, the, the space demon race might be asexual. I don't know. I never really researched into that. I don't know. I mean, I don't really buy sharing planning to use it. I just buy it planning to sell it for a higher price. I'm not really sure. Like, Dragon Ball honestly has this, 
has like the this most simple storyline, but it was really enjoyable by people. All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. I hopefully will be back tomorrow, depending on when I get back. Um, and I will, uh, and I uh, hope to see you then. Thank you and have a nice day.